Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 4 with me, Jerupidus. Feeble humans, let us give you our power. <laughs> Soon, you will become unable to resist this intoxicating power. one hole and into another you want to tell me what's going on here americano see now what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world oh hey easy whoever you are <sighs> name's leon came here looking for this girl seen her what are you supposed to be a cop or something nah you don't look the type maybe Okay, let me guess. She's the president's daughter? <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Wanna start explaining? Psychic powers. Nah, <laughs> just kidding with you, amigo. I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. <laughs> And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But now I'm just a good-for-nothing guy who happens to be quite the ladies' man. Why'd you quit? Phew, <laughs> policia. You put your life on the line. Nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Good boy, I'm not dying. Hey! <laughs> Do something, cop! After you! Now! It's Leon. Sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was a bit tied up. You're okay, right? I'm fine. There was a male civilian held captive. According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. What happened to him? He managed to escape. Do you have a fix on the location of that church? No, but apparently there's a secret passage in the village that leads there. I'm heading back to the village. Man, the first time I saw that neck break, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> it's so awesome. So we gotta head back to the village to get to the church, but first... Over here, stranger. That is the merchant, and he is my favorite character in this entire game. So we have this giant arena up ahead of us and these little lookouts and they just gave us some rifle ammo. Um, so it seems like what they want you to do is buy the rifle. Got something that might interest you. <laughs> Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. All right, I'm going to do my best merchant voice here. Don't know if you noticed, stranger, but did you see the blue medallions hanging around in the village? Come back after you've shot ten or more of them. I've got a specialized gun I want you to try out. What that was probably selling? terrible, but uh, 
it had to be done. So we're gonna sell our uh, spinels. I googled this and it is pronounced spinels. Spinel. Uh, that old? We're gonna sell pretty much all the treasure we got. We got this one from that extra chainsaw guy. Thank you. This one from that puzzle, and we're gonna hang on to the beer stein for now. So as I was saying before, what are you buying? Oh, let's grab this attaché in case. It's gonna make our case bigger. Always awesome. To finish my thought, uh, the they probably want you to buy the rifle here. They just give you some ammunition and those lookouts, and they want you to kind of run up there and do a little bit of sniping. But that is not what we're going to do. We are going to pull a little sneaky on them here. I just, I, I love the merchant so much. He's just... Like, for an NPC that doesn't really have anything to do with the plot... He's just so memorable and awesome. So we're basically going to run for our lives through here. Ow. Didn't really want to take any hits, but that's okay. And we're going to run up here. And now what's going to happen is this guy is going to kill all of his friends with his dynamite. And this is a trick that's used in uh, no damage runs. And I'm not going to do this this whole time. Because I think it's not particularly fun to watch. It's not really exciting. It's just kind of dumb. You just stand here for basically the whole arena, go summon another wave, and then come back up here and have them all get killed. Um, we're not going to do that either. because I think it'll be a little bit more entertaining and fun to run and gun this area, but I did just want to show that off. Now let's get to an area where I can reload this shotgun safely. I think this should be okay. And you'll see in a minute just how many enemies are in here. And if I can get these guys to walk across this bridge, I should be able to knock them all off. Oh, reload. And I didn't even shake out. Classic mistake. That's not a huge deal. That'll work. Where is the dynamite guy? And I took a dynamite to the face. This arena's not going the best. And you can kind of see why... Oh. You can kind of see why people hide in that area. is because there are just so many enemies in this area. It's absolutely ridiculous. Alright, I'm going to deal with this dynamite guy before I get in trouble again. Okay, perfect. Yeah, let's just drop them all off the bridge. Line up, everybody. I don't know if you can hear that, but it sounds like there's another dynamite guy around. Yeah, so while we're running around here cleaning up the rest of these guys, I kind of want to share my thoughts on um, tank controls. Uh-oh. So tank controls mean basically you can kind of only move like in straight lines and you cannot move while shooting. That's a relic from the older games and like, from, you know, from the past of Resident Evil. 
it's not really a way control schemes are done anymore. And if you go back and play this game, it ends up feeling a little bit weird when you're used to not having to decide between those two things. But I think the way it ends up working out, it makes the game scarier because you have this sort of tension in combat of whether to move or to shoot. And that's what a knife kill looks like. Those can go better than that, but... You can pretty... easily run up on dudes and just knife them. Oh, this kind of went a little sideways, so let's get out of here. Yep, come on the bridge, guys. It's totally safe. That is fantastic. So to finish my thought a little bit, um, I kind of think the tank controls are what makes this game great. Where am I seeing someone? You'll notice that if there are enemies nearby Leon, he will kind of glance over his shoulder at them. But I don't know where he's seeing one. So let's just commence to looting. Oh, I bet I know where he is. Yep. Let's go get him. And what we'll have to do following the thrilling conclusion of this fight here is put together two halves of a hexagonal key. Did I not get him? This fight has been pretty Three stooges y Oh, there's still somebody left. Well, anyway, we'll have to put together those two halves of the uh, hexagonal key, and then that will allow us to progress through the door uh, at the end of this arena. So let's go get those. At least we have this pump and soundtrack since I didn't manage to kill everybody yet. Yeah, there's oftentimes like a guy left over just hiding somewhere. I'm sure we'll run into him eventually. And you saw me looking over my shoulders there. Oh, I am lucky he missed that shot. All right, that's finally it. Everybody's dead. Suppose I didn't need to jump down there, but that's okay. And I'm going to try to pick up every item that I know the location of um, and try to get kind of semi-secret things like bird's nests and things like that and the most valuable treasures. But I may miss an ammo drop or, you know, a small item pickup here or there. 
Uh, I don't consider that to be like a huge deal. And also this game is so full of items in different locations and obscure areas that no matter how many times you play it, I guarantee if you play through it again, you'll find something new just about every time. So we're gonna put this together with this, use it. And that's gonna give us our emblem so we can progress. Sort of a quiet little interlude here. Yeah, look at this. We have 59 total handgun bullets and plenty of shotgun ammunition. Like I say, if you're even a little bit careful, you will be just fine in this game ammunition-wise. Straight ahead of us, you can see that is the elegant mask flashing at us there, but we can't quite get to it yet. But we will be able to do that shortly. Oh, didn't get the headshot there. Yeah, there's that axe-throwing guy over there. So we want to be a little careful in this area. I think we can just spend some shotgun ammunition and make this quick. Oh, and he got me anyway. I was so careful. All right, he's dead. Let's go ahead and heal up. And I know it may look like I'm a little short on healing items here, but there's like a big healing item fountain coming up. So don't you worry, I'm gonna be okay. All right, let's see if I can hit this shot right here. Yes! That one's a fun one, but you don't always get it. And there is plenty of loot to find in here. Another spinel. And enemies given enough time will bust through doors, which is pretty sweet in my opinion. Boy, these axe throwing guys are just my arch nemesis. Don't panic, I'm not gonna miss it. The elegant mask is gonna be right through here. You gotta break this. And there it is, and that's gonna function the same way as the uh, beer stein, where it's gonna combine with other treasures to become more valuable once I put it all together. And there's gonna be just one guy in this room um, and I'm going to show you a cool way to knife kill people. If you know that they're there... Oh, that didn't quite work out. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, if you let them grab you and then you knock them down, you can knife them. Now, if you know that they're there, you can run up and uh, knife them in the face. You should get the stagger. And then you can knife them while they're on the ground. And that's a good zero bullet way of defeating 
a Ganado. And speaking of knives, right now we're going to knife some fish. There's one. And Leon is an expert knife fisher. Helps if you chase him into the corner, kind of. There we go. That's the big kahuna. And there should just be a couple left. Didn't chase him into the corner. Oh, he's quick. I could have swore I got that one. That's everybody. I remember the first time I came down here and I thought, maybe I'll try shooting one of those fish. And then I looked at my inventory and saw this and I was like, God, this game is amazing. <laughs> so all these fish are going to be healing items. I'm going to leave the big one upside down because I think he looks good like that. And they actually heal you for quite a bit. So we won't have to worry about healing items for a while. Unless we want to sell these, which I might do. We certainly won't be able to hang out to the large one. We're going to need our inventory space a little bit more than that. Uh, okay. Oh, and we got one more grenade. It is helpful to organize your inventory, um, not only because it's fun, but it can be a little hard to tell how much stuff you have from time to time. Like, how many grenades do I have? If they're all over the place, it's easy to think that you have fewer than you do. But now that we're done knifing fish for no reason at all, uh, we'll be able to head right out of here. I mean, I guess you don't get to be a expert knife fisherman without knifing fish. And we have a little crow section here. Let's blow him up and his friends. And there's going to be a little pendant puzzle over here, although this time it ends up being a pocket watch. And I don't know why I always open that up when I'm done with those, but I just psychologically have to. It's just what I got to do. We're going to have a short little puzzle here. And the point of this is you want to make it match the... Uh, Emblem, so we give it a up and a left. Now there are going to be a few things in this room I want to pick up. Some bullets, the insignia key. Steal a little more money. And let's check out that note on the bed. The Chief's Note. As instructed by Lord Sadler, I have the agent in confinement alive. Why keep him alive? I do not fully understand what the Lord's intentions are. I would, however, think he'd keep them separate, not confine them together as has been ordered. I don't expect Lewis would trust a stranger, but if by chance they did cooperate, the situation could get a bit more complicated. If for some reason an unknown third party is involved, I don't think they'd let a chance like this slip by. But maybe it's all Lord Sadler's ploy leaving us vulnerable so that this third party will surface, if they even exist, that is. It's an unlikely possibility, but if a prowler is already amongst us, then our plans could be ruined. I guess the Lord thinks it's worth the risk, if we're able to stop whatever conspiracy is at work. At any rate, it's the Lord's call. We will trust his judgment as always. Yeah, so this is quite the cult they got going here. <laughs> Nuestro jefe se quedará de la 
Y si la plaga es mucho mejor que la nieve. <risa> <risa> You carry the same blood as us, it seems. Nevertheless, you're an outsider. Just remember, if you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. What? Same blood. Yeah, so it looks like that injection we took to the neck was not a dream that really happened. But that's the end of that chapter, so that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.